most of you are at work. So I'm just going to say what I need to say. And I'm going to get off. I came on to encourage somebody who don't know how it's going to happen. You don't know how it's going to happen. You don't even know why it's happening for you. But if you just believe, if you just believe, even sometimes when you can't find yourself believing in you, if you can just trust the process, and I know, I know, I know that's not an easy task to do. We always hear that, just trust the process. Or we try to give encouraging words like, God is going to do it. He's going to move on your behalf. He's going to do it immediately. But immediately is sometimes not right away. <laughs> Y'all... I am standing in a space that I now occupy. A space that I now occupy. And you're looking at a girl who did not, did not even know that God was going to do the things that he is doing through me. I don't understand. Sometimes I question why me, but then he says, why not? Why not you? Why not you? Why not you? Why not you? And so many times we talk ourselves out of our own blessings. So many times we block ourselves from our own blessings. And I'm telling you, if you would just believe in the you that everybody sees, sometimes we do it because we know that Everybody got our backs. We know our family got our backs. We know our friends got our backs. But if you could just believe, even in the you that you don't see, if you believe it, I'm telling you, God is going to do it for you. God is going to do it for you. God is going to do it for you. I was talked about being a church girl. I was talked about the only thing that I found enjoyment in was God, music, and preaching. <laughs> and I used to try to conform just to fit everybody else's expectations of me. <laughs> but this little church girl, this girl that didn't know anything else but praising God, singing for God, worshiping for God. It was the God that kept his promise when everybody left, when everybody walked away, God kept his promise. God kept his promise. I don't know how many no's I have had. I have been broke, giving my all. I have gone home. <laughs> I have had disconnections. I have been embarrassed. But I remain faithful. I remain faithful. I remain faithful. I kept giving and I kept going. I kept giving and I kept going. I kept giving and I kept going. <laughs> I don't ask anyone for anything. <laughs> and he promised, he promised me, he promised me. So I'm just telling you, no matter what people say, no matter even what you say, if you believe one thing that I tell you, if God be for you, he's more than even your negative thoughts. He's more than your doubt against you. He's more than your embarrassment. He's more than your mistake. He's more than your wrong. He's more than everything that has happened to you. He's bigger than your past. He's bigger than your trial, your tribulation. But I'm telling you, all things are going to work for your good. All things are going to work for your good. I stand in my own spot. No one gave it to me. 
I worked my butt off. I went to people and asked them to sponsor my programs and sponsor the plays. I got no's from people I knew I should have been able to get a yes from and they gave me no. So I kept going. I kept going and I kept working and I kept going and I kept working. It was hard. It is trying. It is tiresome. It is overwhelming. But I kept going and he is paying me back. He is paying me back. And if God pay you back, he's more than anything. If he open up a window, one window and pour you out a blessing, one blessing, it would overtake you. And I'm standing in a season that I almost gave up on. I'm standing in a season that I almost almost ran away from. I'm standing in a season that my depression almost won. I'm standing in a season where every door was supposed to be the final door, but I stand in the space that I secured, my tears secured, my husband finance, my finance, the things that my kids went without. But I'm telling you, I'm going back and get everything I gave away. I'm going back and get everything my insecurity told me to give away. I'm going back and get everything my embarrassment, my story, my upbringing, what I didn't get, I'm going back and I'm getting it. So I'm telling you, don't you stop. Don't stop believing in you. Don't you dare stop believing in you. It's mine. It's mine. It's empty now. It's empty now. It's empty now, but it's mine. It's empty now, but it's mine. It's empty now, but it's mine. It's Every family member that won't support you, don't worry. Every friend that won't support you, don't worry. Because God got a people. He's got a person for you. Your business will prosper not on the back of somebody else. But everything that you've sold, I'm telling you, if you don't shut the door on yourself, God is going to reward you. And that's all I came to say. It's empty now, but it's in the room. Visions are in the room. I'm about to change some kids' lives. It's empty now. But visions and dreams are about to happen in this room because I am going to pour in the kids that the society said wouldn't be anything. I am about to pour in the children that people have walked away from. I am about to pour in children that mothers and fathers don't love. I am about to pour into children to remind them that God is going to do something great in you. If you are a seed of his, he will not withhold any good thing back from you. So I came to tell you, keep believing, keep dreaming, keep going, keep pressing, keep pushing, and keep doing what it is that you're doing. Somebody is about to ring your name. Your name is about to come up in rooms that people said you wouldn't be in. I don't care who you compare me to, but I have worked my hardest. Every right in this mind, everything that I do belongs to me. This little uneducated girl that every time I tell my testimony it embarrasses somebody else but it's also a blessing to somebody else don't let nobody tell you what you went through you can't talk about it you can't share it because a clone mouth won't get blessed yes I was uneducated yes I didn't know how to read and write as an adult yes I struggled yes I was molested yes things happened to me but you better know for everything that happened to me. God is going to do a great thing for everything that has happened to me. God is now blessing me. I was that, but my kids wasn't. Mm -mm. My kids don't know my story. My kids don't know what I've gone through because me and my husband sacrificed to make sure they would not know. So what embarrassment is my embarrassment ain't theirs. Every one of my child passed with flying colors. Why? Because I was determined that they wasn't going to relive the hell that I had to go through. And now I stand in the room. It's empty now. <laughs> It's empty now, but every child in here won't have a struggle with reading and writing. It's empty now, but every child in here will not, do you hear me, will not struggle in lack. Every child in here, I prophesy, I speak it, and it shall be. Whatever we say, and I tell this, this is going to be a blessed place. The foundation shall be blessed. Yep. This church girl, everybody talked about. Yeah. 
I never thought I was better than nobody. Matter of fact, I thought I was worse than everybody. But I, me, 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 now I believe. I believe in me. And when you believe in you, can't nobody tell you nothing. <laughs> They gonna call it arrogance, yeah. They gonna call it arrogance because they used to be you bowing down because you're submitting to what you used to be. I am no longer what I was. I am no longer what I do. Yeah, let me reintroduce myself to you. I am the Tarina Page. Know me when you know me. No, it's not arrogance, but I have dummy down for too long. I have belittled myself for too long. I have made everybody else feel good about themselves while I dummy down myself. No longer will I be that. You know me, and it's a great opportunity that you do. Yep, I am confident in who I am. No, I am not arrogant because everything attached to me is about to win. Every actor, every singer, every musician, every director, everything attached to me is about to win. Yep, it's an honor to know me. Why? Because I know who I am now. I know who I am now. I know who I am now. That's all I wanted to come on to tell you. Whatever you need, whatever you need is in the room. Create your own space and your own atmosphere and create your own lane. Create your own lane.